I'm finally getting around to doing this video that has been requested so many times. If you're interested in house sitting, we're going to cover three of my favorite websites that I use to find house sits. And please stay tuned towards the end because I will have a 25% off referral link if you are interested in joining a website for house sitting. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first website we're going to go to is the one that I first used last year, House Sitters America. It cost $30 to join for the year. However, homeowners do not pay a fee. Now this can be good and bad. Obviously it's great because it allows more homeowners to post, but it also means that you can get some flaky homeowners who are not really sure they really want a sitter yet or are just kind of testing the waters, which I have had. So you have to be careful of that. I want to show you how I would find a house sit. So here we have the parameters and the filters. So you can clearly go by a list for your first option or you can go by a map just to see what's out there. So obviously you can see all of the active sits right now and there's even one in Puerto Rico, look at that. So as you can see, there's a lot of people looking for sitters right now. So if we zoom up on an area, we can start to kind of see what's, what's out there. Now let's say I'm in the west camping somewhere and I want to try to find a sit. So I would go over here, and if I'm not picky about my dates, which I usually am not, I would scroll down and I would usually go here, because I'm not going to bother with a short house sit. It's just really not, my, not worth my time, especially if I'm going to drive there and waste gas. It needs to be a little longer. So as you can see, there's actually quite a few that are long term. The next uh, filter that I go through, which I love, and this is the only website that has it that I know of, that I use anyway, that I'm a member of, is the dwelling features. So we go here, and look at that. Space for RV motorhome, 39. So you got 39 house sits right now. Now that is not to say that just because they didn't click that box when they posted their house sit, that they don't. So oftentimes you either need to look at the pictures of their house if they provide them. You will need to look at the satellite image, again, if they do provide the exact address, or you're just gonna have to have a conversation with the person. Because it turns out not a lot of people um, are familiar with what it takes to, to be able to have an RV at their uh, residence. Now some HOAs do not allow RVs on the property. Some of them don't allow them to be in the driveway, so you may have to park in the street. Is that allowed? You're going to have to check. Some homeowners just are not aware of RV laws. Would you be able to fit in their driveway? So these are the kind of questions that you're going to need to keep in mind when you're looking for a sit. So I just want to know, hey, is there a sit right now in Idaho? And there are, there are two. So let's go and check those out. So there's one in Boise. Let's click on it and see what we got. All right. She doesn't provide a ton of information here. So you either need to have a conversation with her or look at her pictures and try to figure some stuff out. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Is that a street or a driveway? Cute dog. Another cute dog. Really, it's not giving me the information that I need. Yeah, so therefore I would have to contact this owner and I would say, hey Brenda, I saw your ad. Do you have space for a 20 foot motorhome? Blah, 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 blah. Now at that point you could say, hey, I need to plug in to shore power or not, depending on your setup. You may have solar already. 
And you can also, as you see, it says a link to your sitter profile will be included. You can also attach a file that has your letters of recommendation, your contact and reference list, your criminal, criminal background checks. You can attach that all here with your message so that the homeowner sees the full picture. Okay, so let's go back to the other Idaho, sit and see what that one's about. Ooh, it's a farmhouse, one week. Hmm. Again, I wouldn't bother with just one week unless it was an amazing location. Also, you will notice that there is a section called Pets Welcome. No. So that was one thing that uh, I would have to have a conversation with the owners when I had Dresden with me. I would say, hey, I have an, uh, a cat. He is an older cat. He sleeps most of the day. If you do not prefer him to be in your home, that is okay. He can stay in my van, but I will need to plug into shore power to keep the RV comfortable for him and spend some time with him. So it is possible to travel with a pet and house it at the same time. You just have to be very clear about your needs as well as the homeowner's needs to make sure that it's a right fit. Don't ever try to hide something from a home homeowner. It's just, it's not good for anyone. So one thing about this site is they do have some tools. They do have a very basic standard agreement, a house sit agreement. However, I have not once had to complete an agreement. Now, by trade, I'm a paralegal. I used to practice contract law. I completely understand the need uh, for a contract. Now, it's more of a thing for like peace of mind than anything else. So if that's something that the homeowner wants, then you should accommodate. And again, part of your $30 a year unzone membership to House Sitters America, you do get that. If you email the homeowner and say, hey, this is my experience, they, they'll more than likely they will want to set up a Skype interview or a Google Hangouts interview. Just so that they can confirm you are who they are talking with and from there they either feel comfortable with me and moving forward right then or they'll have to think about it or interview other sitters and then make a decision later on. There are some benefits to this website. Again, sitters only pay $30 a year, which is a very good price in my opinion. Uh, I think I've completed all of my house sits last summer using this site alone. So it de definitely does have its benefits. The only thing that I do not like about this site is when I go to my account, so this is what homeowners would see when they look at me. So it's pretty basic. That's it. And then we got some pictures. Again, just cute pictures of me and pets. I do include a picture of my van just so homeowners know, hey, this is what I'm going to be arriving in. It's not a class A. It's a little teeny tiny van just to get an idea. And it's also not a piece of junk. Also, maybe a professional photo in there is good. So yeah. So this is all that they see. Now, some other sites that we will be going over have an area for you to um, add your references or have an area where homeowners that you've com completed a sit can leave you a review. So let's go ahead and exit out of this one and, and go to our next one, which is HowSitMexico.com. So a few things about this website. Again, it's it's a WordPress site. It's very basic. So if you have no desire to sit in Mexico, go ahead and skip forward to the next section. <laughs> First of all, I want you to know that this website is a little bit more on the pricey side. I'm not going to lie. They are offering a coupon, but you have to be a current member. So those, the cost for House in Mexico for a sitter is $79.
membership fee for homeowners to use this site is also the same, $79. However, they do offer a money back guarantee if you do not find a qualified house sitter. The pros to this website in particular, in my opinion, are the geographical uh, benefits. So this is more about who is in Mexico already that are sitters or who wants to specifically only go to Mexico as opposed to say an international pet sitting site where they're just looking for anywhere. This is people who are passionate about Mexico and want to be in Mexico who are already in Mexico. Okay, so if we go to try to find a house sit, what you'll notice here is that there's not a lot. Now you'll notice that there's 606 listings, but there are only six active listings. So no, there's less than that. There's only five. So again, this is pretty pricey for very little sits. But again, what I also have noticed on this website, you see that these have urgent on them and they're new. So they were just posted and their last minute sits. A lot of people tend to wait to the last minute. So if you're looking for a sit in December, you're probably not gonna find it until October, November, maybe even in December. So those are the sits there in Mexico on this particular site. That being said, let's move on to our last one, which is trustedhousesitters.com. This one is one of the original house sitting websites out there. Um, it was originally from the UK and it is very thorough. Their website is highly organized and I really enjoy it. It costs $119 a year, but there's also benefits. So some of the benefits to this website and the $119 membership fee a year are what you see here. There definitely are some benefits to using this website. It's all encompassing. It's, it's, it's a global site. Now, it is not free for homeowners. They're gonna pay the same exact price as a sitter is which I find is good because homeowners have to pay a fee, so they take it very seriously, just like house sitters do. And they also offer, I think, a, a combo uh, membership where you can house sit and you can also be a sitter. So I know uh, in some of my sits, the homeowners, they supplement their retirement or their tra travel by having free accommodations by sitting. So it works both ways and if you are serious about becoming a house sitter, I do have a 25% off referral link in the description box below, or you can use this code. They do have a section for guidelines and forms. As you, as you see here, there's a code of conduct, guidelines, and an agreement form. Now, this website is purely accommodations for services. So agree, if you agree to the code of conduct for this website, you're agreeing as a house sitter that you will not charge the homeowner any fee and vice versa. Now, to be a successful member of this website, you do need to um, add some trust verification forms. So you have your basic where everything has been verified. So I've got one review, two references. Ah, okay. So the one review is the house sit that I just completed. The two references are character references. You, you are who you say you are. And my government identification has been checked and verified. And an enhanced, which is a criminal check. For some reason it's not available and it's currently um, under construction and they're supposed to be getting that fixed pretty soon. But if you really want the really good sits in these beautiful locations, you're going to, there's some stiff comp competition. So you need to have all of your verifications done. So that's the first thing that the, the homeowner is going to see. They're going to get all these applications and they're going to have to filter through them. They're not even probably going to even read your message. They're just going to look at your profile and decide, does this person have enough five-star reviews? 
is she who she say she says she is does she have all of her verifications so you have to make sure that you've got all that set up before you can start applying for the the coveted sits let's preview my page okay so again we got the cute animals definitely get your profile up to snuff before you start applying for sits especially the good ones you can actually add a video intro which i'm actually working on so that would be a great way for homeowners to kind of get to know you so where would i like to go you can just type in a city or a country here but i usually like to go to my filter section well first of all let's go to the map section and see look what we got here but look at this 1.5 in europe alone which is crazy 386 in Australia and New Zealand. Ah, uh, 19 in Spain and 7 in Portugal. See, I mean, this is just incredible. Look at that, even Norway. Okay, so, skipping to the map because the map is a little slow. I'm gonna go to no f to more filters and house or apartment. I don't care because more than often than not, I'm gonna be getting on a plane to go to these sits. So, I definitely need this so I can be able to work and you may or may not want to include this. It depends on what kind of, if you're gonna be out in the country, you probably want to click this. If you're gonna be in the city, you can probably use transportation. But let's go ahead and leave that empty for now and apply it. So that's gonna weed out some things. Let's go duration. I definitely am not gonna do a day, so let's go two plus weeks. Apply. Pets, I don't care. I will sit anything and everything. Local attractions, don't care. All right, so let's see what we got here. We've got quite a few still. So let's say, you know what? I wanna stay somewhere for a month plus. Let's do it. If it's gonna be um, a plane ride, you might wanna go for the longer sets. So we have a lot, still, again, this website originated in the UK, so we're gonna have a lot in the UK. Oh, look at that, Ireland. Yes, please. There's even some in Iceland. So as you see, there still are a ton of sits out there that are for a month plus. Look, we even have Tucson, Arizona, LA, Texas, Seattle, France, California, Canada, I mean, the list goes on, guys. I mean, these sits are legit. Oh, look at that. Let's click on that one. Madrid, Spain. Okay, one cute dog for a month in Spain. Yes, please. She has no photos of her home, though. She's got pictures of her face, which is great, but no pictures of the home. So then you gotta go home, go and look, and oh, she's in an apartment. Okay, suitable for solo sitters. Blah blah blah. And as you see, she's already got 12 to 15 applicants. I hope that this has helped anyone that is serious about pet sitting. It is a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of new people, a lot of like-minded people that also love to travel. And obviously, you get to meet some wonderful animals. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I will try my best to answer them. And if you have any personal questions, as always, my email address is in the description box below in this video. And I hope my next video you will enjoy because it's from a sit and it's a really fun sit and it's probably one of my favorites out of all my sits so stay tuned and you can see that sit and how much fun I had and how wonderful the pets are and I will see you later